Okay, here we're going to look at interior angles. Interior angles are the angles inside a shape. So we've got these different shapes here. Um, we know that it's a triangle, three-sided. Um, so here I've got number of triangles. So how many triangles can I make um, going to, from corner to corner? Well, it's one. Here I've got a four-sided shape. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Uh, so here, if I go from this corner to this corner, I can make two triangles. I've got a five-sided shape. It's a pentagon. So if I start from one corner, I can make three triangles. Here I've got a hexagon. So from one corner to the other corners, I can make four triangles. So we're going to keep going like that. Um, the sum of the interior angles, so how much it adds up to. It's the number of triangles times 180. So 1 times 180, angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. Angles in the quadrilateral, because that's made of two triangles, add up to 360. A pentagon is made of three triangles, so 540. A hexagon is made of four triangles, so 720 degrees. Um, see if you can finish. See if you can finish this table. Then I'll put the answers up afterwards. I'll go through the answers up. Okay, so seven-sided, eight-sided. Um, it's called a heptagon. So I call it a septagon. Heptagon, septagon. Either of those are fine. An eight-sided shape is an octagon. So you can probably spot the pattern we've got going on here. So oh, if I don't miss, one, two, three, four, five, five triangles. And this should give me six. One, two, three, four, five, six triangles. So five times 180. So let's add on another 180 here. That can be 900. And 6 times 180 would be 1080. Now, here I've got a size of each angle in a regular pen. Regular means they're all the same. So each of these three are the same. All these four are the same. So the same. each angle is the same. Each side is the same length. Each angle is the same. That's a regular, a regular polygon. So... Here we just have to divide by how many sides there are. So 180 shared out between the three angles. 180 divided by 3 is 60. Uh, 360 divided by 4, that's 90. And then we've got 540 divided by 5, that's 108 degrees. Uh, 720 divided by 6, that's 120 degrees. It's a tough one, so we definitely use a calculator. Um, 900 divided by 7, that's, well, 128.6 uh, to one decimal place, one DP, I'll put it in bracket there. And an octagon, we've got um, 135 degrees, so 135 degrees. Okay, so exterior angles are the ones outside the shape. So these are the interior angles. They're the interior angles, ones inside the shape. And the exterior angles, they make, it's not the whole angle outside. It makes a straight line with the interior angle. So the exterior angle makes a straight line with the interior angle. And what that means is interior angles, so interior angle uh, plus exterior angle they add up, add up to 180 degrees these exterior angles imagine you're walking along the edge of the shape you turn each time by the size of the exterior angle so how much you have to turn by is the size of the exterior angle 
So if you go the whole way around the shape, you've gone 360 degrees, and you've gone around all the exterior angles. So exterior angles add to 360. It doesn't matter what shape it is, they will always add to 360 degrees. So here we've got an octagon, I think. Yeah, we've got an eight-sided shape. So we can work out the size of an exterior angle by just by doing 360 divided by 8. So we can tell an exterior angle is 45 degrees. So each of these turns is 45 degrees. And that becomes quite a useful way of working out interior angles as well. So that's 45 degrees. The interior angle is 180 take away 45, so 135. So that's the same here. We've got a hexagon, six-sided shape. So six sides here, that um, exterior angles up to 360. So if we do 360 divided by six, we can tell this is 60 degrees. So each of these exterior angles are 60 degrees. 60 degrees which is another way of telling the interior angle is 180 minus 60, so 120. So here's another table that can fill it out. Okay, so we've got all of the same shapes we had before. So we've got a triangle, a quadrilateral, um, our pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon. Um, some of exterior angles, no matter what shape it is, it doesn't matter. They will always be 360 degrees. So exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. Um, the size of each one, so 360 divided by 3, 120 divided by 4, 90 divided by 5, uh, 72 divided by 6 is 60 divided by 7, get the calculator again, uh, 51.4 to 1 dp and divided by 8 is 45. And then to work out the interior angle, it's just 180 take away this because they always add up to 180 degrees. So 60, 90, 108, all in degrees, all in degrees. Um, 120, 128.6 to 1 dp, and 135. So I think that's a quicker way of working out the interior angle using the exterior angle using the fact that they always add up to 360 exterior angles always 360 and then 180 take away the exterior angle is the interior angle for a regular polygon so one with the same each side and each angle the same regular polygon